How goes the night, boy? The moon is down. I've not heard the clock. And she goes down at twelve. I take tis later, sir. Hold. Take my sword. There's husbandry in heaven. Their candles are all out. Take thee that too. A heavy summons lies like lead upon me, and yet I would not sleep. Merciful powers restrain me in the cursed thoughts that nature gives way to in repose. Give me my sword. Who's there? A friend. What, sir? Not yet at rest? The king's abed. He hath been an unusual pleasure, and sent forth great largesse to your offices. This diamond he greets your wife with all by the name of the most kind hostess, and shut up in measureless content. Being unprepared, our will became the servant to defect, which else should free have wrought. All's well. I dreamt last night of the three weird sisters. To you they have showed some truth. I think of them not. Yet, when we can entreat an hour to serve, we would spend it in some words upon that business, if you would grant the time. At your kindest leisure. If you shall cleave to my consent, when tis, it shall make honor for you. So, I lose none in seeking to augment it, but still keep my bosom franchise in allegiance clear. I shall be counseled. Good. Repose the while. Thanks, sir. The like to you. Go. Oh. Bid thy mistress when my drink is ready, she strike upon the bell. Get thee to bed. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, yet I see thee still. Art thou not, fatal vision, sensible, to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat-oppressed brain? I see thee yet in form as palpable as this which now I draw. Thou marshalest me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made fools of the other senses, or else worth all the rest. I see thee still, and on thy blade and dudgeon gouts of blood which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now, o'er the one half world, nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hecate's offerings and withered murder, alarmed by his sentinel, the wolf, whose howls his watch, thus with his stealthy pace, with Tarquin's ravishing strides towards his design, moves like a ghost. Thou sure and firm said earth, hear not my steps, which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabout. And take the present horror from the time, which now suits with it. While as I threat, he lives. Words to the heat of deeds, too cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. <laughs>